What's going on everyone? Welcome back to EMC. I know I haven't talked about my own cars in a very long time and I haven't done any car projects, but don't you guys worry, Ryan and I, we got a bunch of projects coming and we are back. We are back better than ever and I'm feeling great. The last vlog about that 600 LT, I know a lot of you guys were a little bit worried about my mental status, but don't worry, I wasn't depressed. I was just, you know, I wasn't happy with where things were going. And obviously I took some time, I figured some things out and Dizzy and I, we sold a lot of cars. As you guys have seen on my social media, I sold pretty much everything. Obviously we kept the C63 Black Series and we got a Toyota Alford as the family car, but we're not really going to tinker with that too much as that's super comfortable and Katia loves it. Uh, I might mod it later on. I probably will, knowing me, but I needed to get back to my roots. I needed to figure out what I truly love and what makes me happy. And I think that's the most important in this game. At the end, I realized that I'm just not a supercar kind of guy. I like being flamboyant. I like showing off. I like materialistic things and I admit to that, but I just wanted to find the brand that kind of started it all for me. As a kid, I've always loved Porsche. There was always something about a Porsche that makes my blood boil, that makes me tingle. And I've always liked doing projects with Porsche because it's one of those cars that's underrated. Sometimes it flies under the radar, but it's probably one of the best drives in the world. And when I sit in it, it makes me feel great. So first, I want to tell you guys that yes, we did get a new car. And I'm not gonna show you guys this new car until the very end of this vlog. But I do wanna to talk to you guys about a topic because when Dizzy and I were debating over this, I thought it was very interesting. I remember Ryan and I made a couple of vlogs the last two years and a lot of the comments were asking us why we buy secondhand cars. And this is what I wanna to talk to you guys about. I like secondhand cars, to be honest. Um, everyone knows that. I mean, all my past cars, except for one or two um, that have been new, the rest have all been secondhand. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is, I think, in this island, you can only drive this car so much. And I know that everyone complains that the roads in Taiwan are not great, but if you guys grew up elsewhere, you'll know that the roads in Taiwan are not that bad. The condition of secondhand cars here are actually pretty decent. But Dizzy, okay, Dizzy likes to buy brand new cars. And I can't falter for that. You know, who wouldn't like brand new cars? Brand new cars have that brand new car smell and it's never been owned by anyone else. And most people would want to own a brand new car. And so do I. You work very hard for your money. And Dizzy and I, we work super hard. We want to put our money into something that at least holds value. Cars are depreciating assets, okay? Cars, once out the window, of a brand new dealership, they will go down 10%, 15%, 20%. And within the first year, they may be even down almost up to 30%. That is a huge chunk. And that hurts. Knowing that your new car depreciates so much the first year, or even the first two years, it doesn't make me feel good. And that's why I always chose secondhand cars. That's where Dizzy and I had the debate, had the argument, whether we go brand new or second hand and i think we found something that we can meet in the middle with we actually went with a porsche certified pre-owned dealership because they will do a lot of the due diligence for you they'll do all the car checkups they will make sure the car is completely healthy and legit before they sell it and if there's something wrong they're obviously not going to buy it back and I believe that the Porsche Certified Pre-Owned Department, they have a lot of things going on for them that is super good. So I want to take you guys there. So let's go check it out. What's good, man? So we're here at Porsche in Nehu. Uh, if you haven't been here, it's actually pretty sick. They actually just got this new spot. I haven't been here in a while. Well, okay, that's a lie. I've been here. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to pick up the cars, so. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is actually a huge space. 
It reminds me of Porsche dealerships like outside of Taiwan and that's pretty cool. That's pretty badass. So if you guys check this out, this is where all the new cars are showcased. Um, there's obviously a lot of Taycans that they're, they're trying to push this whole EV thing right now. I think it's great. I think it's awesome. Obviously you see a very cool 992 Carrera S right here. Um, those are pretty badass. I, I'm really looking forward to the 992 GT3s. There's a super dope VIP section upstairs and I will show you guys that in a bit. But let's get to the Porsche approved section. And this approved department is right over here. So let's check that out. So this is the approved department of the Porsche dealership. It's got its own area. It's great. There's a bunch of cars here that you can see. Now, keep in mind, these are only demo cars, show cars, test cars, or they would buy back from customers who bought only from the Porsche dealerships. So let me go over a couple very important points to Porsche approved cars. Now they are basically like certified pre-owned cars. They do a background check, they do an examination, and basically there's 111 categories that the mechanics and the specialists here do on the cars before it goes on sale in the approved section. And what's cool about Porsches is that for new cars, there's always a four year warranty. Now for the approved cars, there's a minimum, at least 12 month warranty after you buy it. But most cars will have more than that. So all the cars here for sale in the approved section will be less than three years old. And what's great about this is that basically all these cars will have original manufacturer parts on all these cars. So I think getting an approved vehicle, one, would save me some money, but two, it gives me the peace of mind knowing that it's been through all the examinations and the background checks and that it's legit and I will have a warranty from the original dealer. Now, that is a good deal. The prices of these approved cars are obviously not going to be as cheap as the secondhand Porsches out at the other dealers, but you're buying a peace of mind here. And I think that's what the compromise was between Dizzy and I, and I think we found the best compromise right here. I just wanna tell you guys one thing I love about Porsche is the colors. There's so many different variations to choose from, as you can tell. There's a green, but that's like an interesting green. There's that really hot lava orange. Um, I'm not even sure what all these names are because there's so many different colors and tones, but I love it. And I'm a blue kind of guy, so look, there's already two different blues, like right here. But what's really cool about this dealership is that there's actually a classic department, and I wanna show you guys back there. This is actually pretty cool. They have their own classic department, something like dope like this. Look at this blue, this is what I'm talking about. We already saw three different blues, Every blue has its own character, but this is an air-cooled 993. I really miss my Aquamarine Blue 993S. That was a special car. I do regret selling it, okay? I have to admit that. I regret selling it because there's another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. Value of cars and why secondhand cars sometimes go up in value. The classic cars, all right? They're very, very rare now because they stop production and there's less and less of them. Every time a car gets hit or is in an accident, one goes down. So you can imagine how many there are left in the world. Now, it's kind of like Rolex, okay? Porsche is like Rolex. The value of it, whether it's a secondhand, approved, or a new car, over time, it will steadily keep its value and hold value. And that's why I think a car that you're putting a lot of your hard-earned money into, um, at least for me, I look at it as a type of investment. You know, I know that these are depreciating assets and that they will lose money over time, but if you put your money into something that won't lose as much, hey, trust me, that is a good feeling because when you wanna sell it or when you wanna switch, you're not gonna feel like you took a huge hit. Anyway, that's just my little thought for the day, my little thought for the vlog, so let's go check out the back now. So basically the master tech, he just did a proper full-on inspection 
obviously we did not go through the 111 different categories, but you can tell they do it fully and thoroughly. And that gives us as a customer, the peace of mind. And that's why I chose this car that we're gonna see next. Be ready for this. Enough talk, enough of me telling you how cool the brand Porsche is and how much I love Porsche. It's time to get to it. I'm gonna show you guys what Dizzy and I got. Let's do this. Oh, oh it's, it's a sliding door, I knew that. This, this should make a sign though. Oh, it's collection day. So here it is. We are going to show everyone our new project, our new family SUV. I'm sure you guys can tell what it is already. I mean, they only have two cars that are this size, right? But uh, I was very lucky and I was very fortunate to find this car. I have to give a huge shout out to my homie, Max. Max, you're the man, and he introduced me to Michael, and Michael, I wanna give a huge shout out to you too, because they really helped me find this car. Uh, this was a demo car. This only had about 2,000 kilometers on it. It's practically brand new, and I have to say, it had all the options that Dizzy and I wanted. It was like a stroke of luck that we found this car. This car has a lot of potential. But before I get into all the specific details and what I'm gonna do to this project, I wanna lift off the covers and show you guys. Okay, this is our new baby. This is going to be an amazing project and I'm going to unveil it to you guys right now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog because after this unveiling, we're gonna end the vlog and you guys are gonna have to wait till the next one to see what we do to it on EMC. So here it is, baby. Here is our new Cayenne Turbo. And voila. This is our new Cayenne Turbo. This is going to be a sick, sick project. The potential of this engine is very, very powerful. It's got the same engine as the Urus, the RSQ8. I mean, they're all the same family, right? But this engine, oh, I can't wait till I open her up. This EMC project is gonna be superb. It's gonna be really, really badass. I can't wait for you guys to follow us along with this journey. Thank you so much. I am back. EMC is back. So stay tuned for the next one. Peace.